Well, check this out, guys. They got the power lines fixed. They I got something I gotta confess about uh, real quick. Nobody knows about this, especially my wife, but this was our prized giant pumpkin. And I went out and checked on it today. And um, well, I had this awesome idea. See how they got this flat spot right here? It was growing like this and I thought, ah, that's gonna be an ugly pumpkin. Let's just kind of tip it up so we get the more traditional style pumpkin and the thing busted off while I was doing it. But anyway, I'll tell my wife later, maybe. And she doesn't usually watch these videos, so I'm probably safe. She's never gonna know. So as any good American ought to do, when you do break the pumpkin, you shoot the pumpkin. I usually like to shoot a little further up, but for sheepdog's sake, I felt he might enjoy the shade just a wee little bit. And then he's gonna go a wee little bit on that rock over there. do one final test with the bond arms rough and rowdy before it makes its way back to its home to its rightful owner we got two more shots to do and they're going to be epic beyond all epicness if you recall from the last bond arms of the jail we ended up not being able to shoot some of the three inch shells because you can't shoot them out of this it ain't gonna chooch because they don't fit the chamber's too small oh Problems, problems, I think there's a, there's a few of us that understand those problems more than others. Whatever, we had some technical difficulties and, and the video that we performed as we created these masterpieces didn't get made. We trimmed the, the top off just ever so slightly. I think it was about yeah, just over half an inch. In this one, I got some copper plated buckshot. There's four pellets in there. I could put four or five number four shot in, a pellet, four or five number four shot. Keep that pattern going filled her up and then i was like how do i keep that together and then i looked i got some jb weld so jb weld the top of that in these things are these are amazing greatest thing ever made and then what i did is i looked and i had some other balls now if you recall the the russian and the turkish shotgun tests that we did me and waldo took apart a bunch of turkish and russian ammo actually some american ammo compared them we found that the american shot was nice and smooth but we found that the Russian and the Turkish ammo had lumpy balls. I want to bring our countries together, right? And so I got a couple American smooth balls, and then I got a couple lumpy balls in here. So this is the uh, Ameriturka Russian round, okay? And that's going to be pretty amazing. Follow the same pattern as the other one. So now you got a little bit of history that you really didn't care about. We're gonna load these up into the Bond Arms Snake Killer of Death. And you can blast the rattlesnakes if they come trying to bite your little piggies. Now what I did do is I, I put a board up so we can see the patterning. I marked the other four pellets which struck the board in another video with my Milwaukee Inksall marker, which is now attached to the cowboy hat. We're gonna load these bad boys up. I'm gonna put green on the bottom and we're gonna put the red on the top. Beautiful fit. Now, I have noticed what's sharp when this kicks. It's, it's, uh, it's firm, but it's, it's not unpleasant. But right here, you kind of got some sharp edges. Right there. And I might have to just hold my thumb a little bit differently. But my thumb comes up there and kind of conjoints it right there. Last time I was at it, it cut me a little bit and I felt a little bit of sharpness. Now, clearly the pumpkin came out unscathed. Son of a gun. Because it, it didn't hit with enough power, that's got to be one of the Turkish ones. We've got some number four shot embedded into the plywood and a little patterning aiming up here. So these would have hit the, the body. Then this one right here completely missed. Once again, that must have been an American pellet because that penetrated the whole board so on there we got three strikes out of four and then a smattering of number four shot i'm starting to think that maybe this wasn't the greatest oh look at that the four shot we actually got four shot all the way from the bottom to the top so for whatever that's worth that's what happens let's try actually hit the pumpkin this time So 
So from here, I was about three paces away. So I forgot to mark the stupid plywood, what shot where. But we did get all four to strike the target. That's what we call a win. All right, we got one of these struck, the pumpkin. I'm not seeing an exit wound. All right, I'm gonna have to do an autopsy on that pumpkin, but it does look like this time at least, we got everything to stay where we were aiming at. Granted, we were close. So even though they didn't all penetrate, uh, that is not something you'd want to get hit with. Now, granted, these aren't even the self-defense rounds. These are hobo buckshot rounds. So take that into consideration as well. I think right there is our entry hole. Let's see where, let's see where this one goes. And, and it also, it very well could have just hit that and bounced off. Nope, that, that made all the way through. The chicken would be ticked off if we didn't save the guts. You're watching it right here, history being made. Hey, there she is. All right, so I kind of found her in the bottom about halfway through. Ain't she a beauty? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm wondering if this is that first one. Cause it's flattened on the back, but the first part is all, all rounded and you can see it's all dimpled. And I think that dimpling, probably from going, and it's deformed at the tip. And I can't quite tell if there's any JB Weld stuck on there, but that would be my best bet. All right, so we proved it. We have proved the question. If you shoot 